they are all beauties. On a cold November morning at the tip of Cape Cod, I joined Captain Bobby Rice of Real Deal Fishing Charters as he looked to cash in on the final days of the Bluefin Tuna Run on Stellwagen Bank. Coming up the edge right now. That's two group where I am. There's one other boat here. I don't think that's you though. There's a good feed going. I know, I see him, I see him. Oh, they're going good. Hey guys, it's Jim Fee with On the Water TV. I'm out here with Captain Bobby Rice and Captain Craig Cantelmo. It's November 10th, it was 31 degrees when we left the dock today, and we're out on Stellwagen Bank chasing bluefin tuna. Just after sunrise, as soon as we got on the cell wagon bank, we saw a ton of shear waters. And we started to see breaking bluefin. So we're casting uh, these topwater lures into them, these stick baits. Uh, they're strategic anglers. They look a lot like the mackerel and the herring that the bluefin are feeding on. Bluefin tuna are pretty big fish to be chasing with spinning gear. We're loaded for bear here with the heavy duty van stall popping rod. That's perfect for throwing these baits and for slowing down and turning these big bluefin. The bluefin aren't always showing themselves on the surface, but these shearwaters are a great indication where the where they're feeding. These birds keep grouping up over the schools of bluefin, and uh, we're heading toward a big flock right now. They're going to the right. They're going to the right. Right there. Keep them up. Right there. Rolling. Right there. Go ahead and make too fast. Go hit it blind. Right there, they're right on the edge. Right on the edge where the birds are tight. You guys see all the birds over there, man? It's gonna be panic. Look over here, yeah. they're all coming together. 11 o'clock, yeah, man. Yeah, that does look good. So we're just quietly motoring to some fish. You don't want to throttle down, otherwise you'll spook them, because they do hear the motors coming up and they could really shut off the feed. So Bobby's just and then slowly motoring us up toward where we saw some fish to get us into casting range. That was a big school of fish, man. That thing had to go 50 yards. From... They're still swirling in there. See the swirls? There we go. There we go. Nice. See him? He's tight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go, Jimmy. Yeah. Hurry in. Shut up, Jimmy, baby. Oh. 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 Just hooked up. We saw this uh, huge flock of birds. There's a ton of fish in there. Still marking fish. There's a ton of fish still around the boat. Still lagging bank. Sunrise. Awesome bite, man. It's been the hot spot for about a month now. Just getting together perfect for us this morning. Got Jimmy up in the bow of the boat. It's a tail. Hooked up right off the bat. Couldn't be much better. Spin the boat for you, Jimmy, right? Well, he just took back everything I gained on him. Bobby's just spinning the boat so I can put him in the bow away from the away from the motors. And, uh, survival mode.
So these are really big, strong fish, and uh, I'm man enough to admit that it overpowered me a bit. So I handed off the rod to Craig for a fresh set of arms. He's gonna, you can see he's getting this fish toward the boat nice and quick. It's all teamwork. Yeah, you like that one, man. Switch the rod out, the fish will feel the different pressure and he might react to it, might take off again. Sometimes they come to you because they're, they're tired themselves. But they definitely notice that transfer from one angle to the next. He's doing a good job right now, putting some heavy heat on him. We're going to get the switch up pretty quick. You got him straight up and down pretty much, right, Craig? Yep. Yeah, that was the same plug, though, that blue one. Same plug. It's been the hot plug, man. Yeah, it's been the hot plug. The fish is straight up and down right now. Craig's got it about 60 feet below the boat. Bobby just saw it on the fish finder. And he's just gaining back inch by inch, getting this fish into leadering and landing range. What I learned, try to teach a lot of my um, clients, is not to high stick the rod, you know, so much. Kind of keep it at a 45 degree angle. If you have to put two hands on the reel from time to time, just to get your balance to save your lower back. That's what you do. And as soon as you can drop that rod at all, to get even a half a crank, a couple feet, inches at times, that's what you have to do to get these fish in the boat. It's definitely a teamwork thing to do. Oh, yeah, Craig just passed it back to me. I think he was looking a little winded. <laughs> there you go, take some line. Yeah, just keep it tight. Real. He's coming to you, Nate. You're going to see him here shortly. All right, you got color now? Yep. There you go. He broke his will, I think, Jimmy. You got him, you got him. He's getting tired, he's getting tired. Nice oh, fish, right. Beautiful right. fish. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. The, plug, the plugs are totally in it. So Perfect size, out. too. Look at that, man, just jammed right in there. We got the fish both sides. Bobby got a lip gaff in it. We're just getting the treble hooks out of it now so we can let this fish go. It looks pretty nice and healthy. Take this right here. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna go like this. So we just released the fish, my first ever bluefin on spinning gear. There's still birds working, there's still fish breaking, so we're gonna to try to get a couple more, although I might need uh, might need some of the ice in the fish box to put on my back after that, so. <laughs> Targeting bluefin tuna with spinning gear has helped make all the product on the market better. What we've done is everything's machined at aeronautics grade aluminum, so it's ultra rigid. We have a titanium shaft, hardened stainless steel gears, because you're using, this has 80 pound braided line. So you're putting 40 plus pounds of drag pressure on these fish, and the reel has to be able to take it. So every inch you could get, every inch counts when you're fighting these fish to get them to the boat. That evolution has resulted in the VSB 250 and the new VM 275 reels that we've made specifically to target these fish. Looks real fishy. Found an area where there's a lot of life concentrated, you know, in a couple hundred yard stretch. There's a dragger moving through, there's a lot of birds. We even started marking some tuna on the screen. Craig's still throwing a, a strategic angler stick bait, and uh, we're gonna see if we can can hook another one of these fish, but they seem to be hanging in this area. There's a ton of bait here and a lot of tuna. I just moved in from Stellwagen Bank up to Pecan Hill Bar. I called in a buddy of mine, Mike Wisniewski, jigged up the charters, and uh, he happened to catch a fish one of the A12s here. It's the Stingo A12 here. These have been one, another one of the hot lures this fall, but a lot of guys, uh, it's their go-to lure. It's got really good action in the water. It swims beautiful. They're new to me this year, but uh, I've had success on them. They're another good lure. Another good weapon to have in here aboard the vessel. Come on, I got tuna. No, Dom, we're tight. Dom, we're tight. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby's on the back. Yeah, we roll up. You see the birds right here. Got a couple of boats up on us now, but nice group of fish came service. The birds showed us where they were. You can hear that drag, man. This rod, this rod's unbelievable. Look at them go. They're still going up there. Yeah. Let's see. All right, take some line up there. Color. Right 
So this is what happened. We played this fish a little too long. Now he's got a second win. Now it's a whole nother game. I switched the lure route from a strategic angler to a Stingo A12 here, Pearl. First cast, I wasn't in him. Second cast, I was in him. Worked it real slow. About 70 feet away from the boat, he went sideways and sucked it right in. I was fighting him now for about 10 minutes. We already had him to the boat. He's right here. Yeah, beautiful fish. Yeah. Look at that, just that little tiny bit of flesh. <laughs> Looks out. Tuna's in the boat. Nice. Another awesome day with On the Water. Hey, Bobby, thank you very much for taking us out. Bobby Rice with Real Deal Charters, Frank Antelmo, Van Salt Reels. You're watching On the Water TV. We're going to let the baby go. Right in. Nice. Nice. So when you think of spinning rods, uh, you don't generally think of very big fish, but Captain Bobby Rice earlier this fall landed a 400 pound plus giant tuna on a spinning rod. And then just after that, Captain Don Petrarca from Coastal Charters landed a 600 pound plus giant also on spinning gear. a lot of mackerel on the bottom. Even though the fish seem to be more on the surface, but I'm using the mackerel here because there's so many sand eels. The krill's here, the whale's here, everything's here. So it's happening even though there's so many mackerel, there's herring, there's whiting all on the bottom, it's a lot easier for the tuna to go through these clouds of sand eels and grab them on the surface than it is to go down to the bottom and chase these mackerel out. Even though we do like jigging for them on the bottom with metal jigs and the rods, but we've had more success right now with doing the top water since that's where the fish are. Where are you guys on the port side with that thing or what? No, starboard side. You can move right up where you're coming here and just jump on. I have a buddy of mine uh, who's hooked up right now. He's been on a fish for about an hour and a half. Three guys on the boat on a spinning rod, and all three of them are worn out completely. So I'm going to go hop on their boat, give them a hand, and get this fish, hopefully get back on ours and get our own. So uh, we're coming up on him now. He's only about 150 yards in front of us, and it's probably a big fish. I would suppose it's probably a giant. Give him a hand. Hope he gets it. I got it. Here, come here. I got you. I got you. Here we go. Bobby's on him. Going under. Oh, he's taking it all back, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, it's choppy. So Bobby hopped on the boat with his buddy to, to fight a fish. This fish went through four guys. They were all too tired to continue fighting him, so they called in a fresh set of arms. Bobby's got it straight up and down right now. Could be a giant fish. And how far can he go down? It's only 162 feet. And we're just sitting here to see if Bobby gets into the boat. What it's happened is he's figured out how to live. I mean, you just got to keep the heat on him. The only way you're going to get him, you know? What a fresh guy. <laughs> Right there, color. color! Big fish, man, big fish. That might be a giant, man. Look at him right there, he's color, shot on his side right there. Don't go down! Keep turning, just keep turning that. Going down a little bit. He's coming in backwards. Scooney, get up here. Get up right here in the front. Right here, Scooney, wait, wait. Get him, get him, get him. You got him. Game over. Five, six, six. 
It's a giant. It's definitely a giant. Get the tail out of the water and a rope on him. You got another gaff? You got another gaff? Get the gaff. Get another gaff. Just get the tail. So then, he's out, then he has no control. I'm coming by you. Real deal, jumped on Schoonie Charters. Yeah, that's right. Good fish, man. It's 300 pound fish. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Hey guys, they just landed the fish. It's big enough to sell commercially. We're going to go in and take a closer look at it. Nice work, Schoon. On the deck, 86 inches. My buddy Schoonie. Awesome fish on the spinning rod with a Ron Z. Can't be asked much better than that, man. That, that's a, quite an accomplishment on the spinning rod. Awesome fish, man. 86. I'm guessing 370. Great fish, great bite. <laughs> you put it on the I gotta send it to mom. Time for us to get back on that boat. Go get our own now. Congratulations to Schoonie. When we come back. Right there. I'm on. I'm on. Nice. Nice. I'm on. I'm on. Nice. Color. Oh, yeah. It's coming in quick, guys. Look at the way he's hooked. Fried open all the way. His mouth is just way open, open with that bug. fishing off the tip of Cape Cod, targeting places where it goes from deep water to shallow water. On top of these humps, there's a ton of bait fish, there's whales, there's birds, and that's why all these big bluefin are here to feed on the sand eels, the herring, the mackerel, and all these bait fish that are still here on November 10th. He's turning in, Craig. The guy just, he just sees him right now. The guy's cruising. Got two guys. Yeah, two guys see him. Right there. I'm on. I'm on. Right, nice. Come on. No, he's there. I got him. Oh, he's off. No, he's coming at me. Yeah, so it's been a little bit since we saw some fish on top. We just saw a few birds get together. We saw some breaks underneath. Bobby just kind of flipped it out back, backhanded with the Stingo A12 and hooked up. I don't care which way you turn. Uh, the rods are on the porch. Let's go. Get you off front. Let's put some heat on that thing. Ooh, that was the tail. Ooh, he didn't like that. What I'm using here is Seaguar fluorocarbon line, 90 pound test. I put my leader in, three feet, whip it on the other end, glue it. And then we come down to a micro crimp, some chafing gear, to a 500 pound croc swivel, to a 170 hyper wire owner split ring, to the lure. Craig, can you turn me this way? No. Yep. Uh, if anything's gonna find the weakness in your tackle, it's gonna be the bluefin doing it. Oh yeah. Sure. So. Everything's got to be perfect. It's going to make every chance, you know, every opportunity count. This is the 500 gram band stall rod, 275 VM band stall reel. This rod has a lot of backbone. It's not, it, you can put a lot of pressure with this rod. It's got a vicious head shake. As you can hear, we got some good pressure. That line like a piano right now. So we hooked into a fish, and uh, Bobby made a, a lot of headway on it pretty quickly. Hey, Bobby, when you're fighting these fish, it really is a, a team effort. You've got Craig working the boat here. I mean, how important is, is boat positioning? Yeah, you definitely need a team, team effort in, in landing these fish. Good guy in the helm, very important. Just keep the, the fish somewhere in the front of the boat. You know, I'm going to go straight up and down, something you can do about it to do circle front of the boat, but 
definitely this is the way you want to fly. You're making that way there. Color. Color. You got him right here. Hurry up. Hurry up. He's coming in quick, guys. And look at the way he's hooked. Fried open all the way. Wow. See it? Good. Yep. His mouth is just wet. Wide open. open. With that <laughs> Here we are with a beautiful 63-inch November bluefin tuna caught off the tip of Cape Cod. It's been an awesome day on the water. We've been fishing with Captain Bobby Rice, Real Deal Charters, Captain Craig Cantelmo of Van Stall Reels. I'm Jimmy Fee from On the Water. Thanks for watching On the Water TV. For more information, visit onthewater.com. Oh, 